Spooky ghouls. These are awesome, by the way. All right, so we are test battling. Name of the scenario is the abomination. What? <laughs> I forgot. That I forgot. These are the white Russians, right? Correct. White Russians. So you have one character mm -hmm. and three foot sloggers. So in this scenario, we have zombie spawn points in each quarter. First person to take the house for a turn wins. So what we're going to do at the beginning of each turn, we roll for each spawn point. And we should have dice for that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, should I roll for yours? You want to roll for mine? Okay. What? How did the oh, okay, so the two we need? Yeah. So this one's going to have three zombies. <laughs> okay, so... And then that one's going to have also three zombies. Oh, well, we might have to tweak this already. That one? <laughs> one. And that one? Three. three. Wow. How many do we have? That's three, six, nine, <laughs> ten. That's all, all right. ten of those. Okay, sweet. So, so they would come out by the spawn points. And I got three here. Okay. I think we're going to die. <laughs> Sorry about the shaky cam. I don't know if I can make it to the house. I'm not going to make it. Two. Oh, yeah. And then three there. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Then we would uh, roll initiative as normal. Yeah. Add leadership. So I am at seven. Uh, can I try to leadership plus one? So I'm at four. Okay. So I would get to move first. Hey guys, happy belated Halloween. It's Heretic You here with a special kind of Halloween themed um, In Her Majesty's campaign. It's a four part campaign. And uh, today we're going to be discussing the prologue, uh, which is called The Abomination. So basically, in the pro prologue, uh, we're asking the question of, you know, what would be your zombie survival team. That's something that is asked a lot, at least in my circles. And In Her Majesty's Name is one of those games where it's very customizable, so you know you can actually make a zombie apocalypse team. Um, now we have a few rules. So the, the restrictions are basically um, you may only have one medic in your um, starting adventuring company um, you may only have one mystic as well uh, you have a max of 150 points and only one person one model in your crew can have a two uh, plus pluck save okay so here's the setup of the game it's gonna be played on a 4x4 four four table uh, I think that looks more like a rectangle, but uh, I think you get the idea. Um, six inch uh, by six inch deployment zone for your team. There's going to be a house in the middle. That'll be the objective. And you're going to divide the table into four um, equal parts. And each at the center of each table quarter, you're going to put some sort of like a 30 mil base or something like that. That will represent a zombie spawning point. Now, when we play tested it, we found that the zombies spawn way too many and too often. So the zombie spawning rules are pretty simple. Now, um, at the start of the game, you're going to um, roll for each spawn point. Uh, one through three is going to be one zombie. Four through uh, you know, four through six. 
is going to be two zombies, and then seven through ten is going to be three zombies. Um, now they don't actually respawn unless that table quarter is empty. So if the table quarter is empty because they've walked off or you've killed all the zombies in that table quarter, at the start of the next turn, you would roll uh, that spawn table. So th as far as the background goes, the first scenario um, basically should be in a uh, metropolitan type area like downtown London or something. Um, your company receives a letter um, from a strange man um, who starts to explain what's happening, which is basically the um, the streets are shut down at night. There's a series of odd and random murders, and he tells you that all will be explained if you get to his safe house. In there, there'll be a diary. So we're gonna. Um, so that's basically how you're gonna win this game. Is if you get your entire team in the house, uh, if, if they control the house for, at the end of the turn, uh, the scenario ends, okay? Uh, it doesn't have to, it, your remaining team, so if you lost a few guys getting over there, it's fine, it has to be your remaining team, and you can't have any of your opponents in the house. Okay, so here are the stats for the uh, abominations, aka zombies. Um, you can see they've got some pretty serious <coughs> stuff there um, with that uh, fight value plus four. Uh, they cannot run, they just walk. And they have their own movement phase. So after both players have moved all of their their models, um, then the zombies get to activate. And basically what they do is they move towards the closest um, non uh, abomination or zombie model okay um, and they also get their a separate combat phase so they don't have any ranged weapons um, but that plus four um, fight value makes them pretty deadly um, there's also a couple special rules with them um, they have a low pluck save anytime they fail their pluck save they're they're considered knocked down unless they roll a one. That's going to represent a headshot and uh, that's pretty important. Um, that's to kind of like represent that your characters don't know exactly what they're fighting against and so if they shoot it or hit it with something uh, the zombie may be down but not out of the game because uh, we all know that it's only headshots that count. Now, uh, the other rule is that if you, if a, if the zombies are in contact with, um, if you have multiple zombies, uh, they have to mob up. They have to do, they have to do mobbing attacks. Um, that's to represent the more of them on you, the more deadly they get. So I hope that clears that up. If you have any questions about the zombies um, and their rules, just put a comment or PM me. And finally, uh, just to add some extra flavor to it, uh, here's some special. A here's a special action you could do. Something that uh, we thought was pretty fun during the game. Um, the house should have several entry points, at least two on each side, so that both teams have equal chance to, um, uh, you know, claim it. Um, the other thing that you could do. Uh, is this special action called a block door action where if you are inside the house um, you can block the door from the opposing team um, or vice versa um, so basically it's it you make a melee roll you add any fight value you have uh, winner gets to either move into the house or is considered blocked out of the house um, no damage or no pluck roll needed I hope that's self-explanatory. It's just to represent people struggling to get in and out of the house. And I, I thought it was pretty fun to do that. And because this is a campaign, uh, there's some special rules at the end. Uh, it's a lot to absorb, but um, the full rules for this is on the, um, the Facebook page for In Her Majesty's Name. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, but I'm going to post them here. You can pause the screen and read them. 
again if you have any questions um, just give me a holler Oh, your zombies are okay. <laughs> zombies! Alright. <laughs> you tried. Nice. Okay. So, Sherlock is movement. Speed plus one. I'm gonna try to cap this zombie. Okay. Sweet. Alright. Um, so we have a shot here. So all I need is a four better. Four a better. What is going to happen? There you go. He yeah. hits. I'll do the zombie save. Zombie save is five. <laughs> yeah. And he makes it. <laughs> this is going to be bad. penalty minus one, that's still it. <laughs> save. <laughs> nice. Uh, I have no more... Shooting? I guess I can shoot in combat, but don't risk. Why not? The doctor, why not? I gotta save him. Alright. Alright. Minus 10. Shoot! Miss. Okay, so now 1 through 5 is the doctor. Okay. Ah, I shot the doctor. So go ahead and hit. Roll again. No. Okay. Alright. Do you hit a civilian? <laughs> Oh, we'll just leave that out of the scenario. No, no, yeah, because this in this scenario, they closed down the streets. Okay. Because the, the government knows about what's happening, but they're just, they're not alarming the public. So now you got to do the uh, fight. So I have two fights here. Okay. I'll start with the cop, who is fight value plus one, plus the electric per gem. I think it's plus one, right? So that gets it. That, that would hit. Yep. Um, and then you want to roll his punch. Oh, you got him. But they are just knocked down. Okay. In the scenario. <laughs> and then I have this guy. So the good doctor. Ooh, I'm minus one because I, I don't have a combat weapon with him. Right? What do you mean? I, I don't have a, a close combat weapon. So it's not minus one, but it's, you just don't hit because you don't have any pluses. Okay. So I am fire value plus two, though. That puts oh, me at eight. So mm -hmm. eight? Yeah, that's fine. Um, right. It's unarmed, though. He gets a plus one to his plus six. Oh. So. That's what it was. Yeah. Dang! <laughs> so now he gets to hit you. Right. Um, what's his stats again? The doctor, you're oh, going to need armor. his arm. He has a Faraday coat. So that's eight, right? Yeah, I believe so. Let me just check the uh... Faraday coat. Yeah, eight. All right. Nope, I missed. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, initiative. Initiative. New trick. Five. I'm at one. Okay. Start two, actually. I will run inside. Janky Ruski. Alright. Mm -hmm. Well. Sherlock. Leave the good doctor by. <laughs> oh, do, we, do we roll for more zombies? Ah. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Dang it. Alright. So, uh, minus one pluck? Yeah. Right. Roll a one. So, I need a three. <laughs> He's <Yes>. gone! <laughs> <laughs> right after Sherlock knocked, the, knocked out the Russian dude. <laughs> uh, that would mean you own the house at the end of the scenario. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, no. We gotta Your whole team's not in. That's right. We gotta do this if one. we kill each other. That's right. All right. So you still have initiative, right? All right. Oh no, you just went. I just went, so now your cop gets to go. All right. So I'm gonna use the um, the all electric. All right. And my fight value is. Uh, 
plus one. All right. So I get plus one for the weapon too, right? Yeah. So no. You get a four. I'm an armor knight. <laughs> no. All right. My uh, I'm at plus four. What's your armor? My armor is. They just have line coats. Line coats. So that's eight. All right. All right. Eight. Um, I'm at plus four. Ooh. Six. I miss. Okay. Uh, the zombie on the doctor. Oh, that's right. Uh, zombies would go last, right? So I get yeah. to go. All right, doctor. Swing. Uh, doctor is fight value <laughs> plus two, so that puts me at eight. Okay. Block. Oh, headshotted him. Bam. That's two points for the doctor. Two points for sure, like two points for the doctor. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it. Nobody else is in combat. Right. New turn. New turn. Uh oh. Initiative. Uh oh. Sherlock's crew might take this. Uh, four. You got. Uh, no, I'm at plus one only. You're at plus. No, because my guy's out. Oh. So you go first. Oh, There's a guy in the house, huh? Blocking the door, though. Let me in! Well, I'd say you could get in. I'm not completely blocking the door. I don't know. I think it's kind of strategic. If you block the door, then you can lock the... It's like you guys are locking the other team out. Yeah, but I'm not completely in front of the door, though. I'm more than 50% on this side of the door. I say we do this. In a case like that... We consider the door. Yeah. Like I'm trying to push my way in. Okay. And we'll do combat. Okay. That way. It makes it a little bit more exciting. Sure. All right. Here we go. And, and maybe if the uh, we fight a combat and whoever wins doesn't kill the other person, just right. pushes, pushes them back or pushes you know, yeah. one of the, the other. That will write into the scenario. Okay. <laughs> um, so, uh, movements. I am actually... Well, you get your movement done. I'll go ahead and move my gear. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no worries. Okay, so Wait a second. I was, I was, I cheated. I, I did not have Sherlock, but I, I won on the base roll, anyways, right? Because he died when we did initiative. Yeah, you, well, you had four. I had three. So yeah, that's right. So, okay. So I want to make sure you move, change. I move. That's your move. No, I only got one. Hmm. Let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to scenario. Um, I think I'm gonna. I'm not gonna move him. Okay. And try disengage. All right. Mine yeah. <laughs> nope, I can't disengage. I actually would. Well, I was gonna let you go. Cause I was just gonna go like <laughs> and cap zombies and hope Sherlock can get rid of the other two guys. If that's what you want to do, if you want to leave. Um, well, yeah, but oh, I see. I don't yeah. think the rules allow for just voluntary. That's true. Permission of the other opponent. So okay, I feel more stuck. Now zombies. Now zombies. Zombies attacking. Uh, for that one, getting up. Oh yeah, that's good. No, Still he down. just must have took out his legs or something. I think this is closest. No! Ooh, that one's close. Um, oh, that one is closer. Okay, there. This guy's closer here. Oh my god. Zambies everywhere. And now. I'll take a shot of this real quick. <laughs> For Craig. And all those guys. And we got a roll for this, uh, this Karen because there's no zombies in this quarter. Oh, okay. So that two. gets two. <laughs> nice. All right. I think that's a, a good way to do that I think, roll. yeah, I think that is amazing. Let me just take a quick little shot here. Of okay, sweet. Wow. I think you're going to win with your one dude. <laughs> Assuming we all don't die. So, so now how do we do this? Uh, shooting, go ahead. And you have I have any, none. You don't want a pistol or anything like that? Well, I'm engaged with... Now. Um, initiative. Initiative. I have four. <clears throat> I have three. Yeah, does Watson have a leadership skill? Yes, she does. I didn't know that. 
I'm sorry. No, wait, wait, wait. The good doctor, leadership one. So we're tied. Okay, so we roll again? Yeah. I rolled a three, you rolled a nine, so you get to go first. Mm. Well, I can't, I'm, my back's to the wall. I can't really disengage. Uh, either can the cop. I'm kind of stuck. So there's no movement. We're okay. just jammed. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm gonna try and disengage from... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Because we're both gonna get swarmed by zombies and eaten. So, um, Well, if you disengage and it's successful, you can run into the house. Well, he's still blocking the door. The same way that I was blocking Ooh, this door. Yeah. So I'm not gonna try that. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna stay where I am. And then we move zombies. <laughs> and then stuff does. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> now, um, I guess they'd have to divide their attack evenly as much as possible. We might have to write that in. Well, You've got three that are in combat with you, and you I've have got three that are in combat with me. Okay, that's so fine. So we'll just leave it like that. Okay. Now, your guy that's free, does he want to do anything? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I, I think could shoot out the window. I could. It's XP. I could. Actually, I think I will. I'll shoot right out the window at one of the zombies. Yes. So. Which group are you shooting at now? This group, because that's okay. where I am. When so then you could randomize and kill me if, it, if I miss. Which I don't. Ooh. Natural 10. I hit a zombie. Natural 10. Alright, zombie. Oh, headshot film! <laughs> Earn yourself a zombie. <laughs> Alright. Um, melee. Yeah. Okay. So you got initiative. I'll go with, um,. I'll go with Cheryl, or Watson. Watson! Okay. It's plus two, so that should do it. Okay. On uh, a zombie one, or the Yeah, orc? one zombie. Okay. The zombie. Uh, leaner. Ten. Oh, <laughs> you're killing me. Um, all right. Chuckles there. <laughs> Chuckles. He's, He's going to go against... Uh, you get me, or the... <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough question. Do I want to be a I'm worth the same amount of points as a zombie. So. I'll go after you. <laughs> Natural 10. Natural 10. Uh, minus 1 to pluck. Minus 1 to pluck. Uh, constable pluck is 5. So I need a 9. I made it. I made yes. it. We're not. <laughs> so um, now zombies go. Who do you want to start with? I guess that's technically I want initiative. Let's go here, right? Sure. All right, those three guys. One guy plus two is six. All right, so I got nine. Uh, okay, so that's equal to his, his armor. So, um, fails his mark save. Okay. He's dead. So we'll do this one last round of combat. So we got two guys in combat with you. Yep. Four, uh, six, seven. I don't know. Seven? Okay. Yeah. Then, would you, was that him or him? That was uh, the cop. Okay. So. Oh, okay. Watson! No! Connects. <laughs> yes, he lives. Okay. All right. So, end of scenario, you get how many points extra for winning? 51, 50. All right. So, here's the, oh, what am I doing? So, maybe... I look for files. There we go. Downloads. What should I say you get for winning? Register later. End of game. Uh, I think it's normally 20 points, right? For winning the scenario? Generally. Let's just award 20 points for you. And then we would roll for each guy that was killed. 
Okay. It would make a final pluck save. So let's go with Sherlock. He lives. All right. Um, my lieutenant, four plus, makes it. Right. The little guy uh, does not. Okay. And the other guy does not. Oh, so you permanently lost two guys. Yeah. That's what would have happened. All right. So. But I had an infantryman in the building.